honestly. <laughs> um, you know, um, it's um, it's a bit, it's a, it's a, um, you got um the vibe of um, this um, you know this UK kind of beat. Yeah. Um, mixed with Afro Afro pop. Yeah. And, um, no, yeah, that kind of flavor. Yeah, that's like that's like this. Yeah, man. How? Like, what? 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 What inspired you to do that kind of music? Please come again. What inspired you? What, where do you drive the inspiration to do that type of music? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I'm like, where do you drive the inspiration for your kind of music? Oh, um, you know, my inspirations come when I'm, you know, sometimes when I'm driving around looking at things, you know, the way I feel sometimes and like, yeah. things that go around goes on around me like you know sometimes i pick inspiration from my friends you know activities like everything that is going on so sometimes that's how i get my inspiration yeah i would love that's to it. know musically how many years have you been doing professional music oh that's six years now mm. uh, from my um, after my secondary school that was um yeah let me say six years now yeah how has it been for you is it is it is it moving? Is it uh, a bit confusing? How how can you describe the music business in three words? Um, is is um, is is moving, but you know, is is not easy like that. But it's still pushing, like, you no. Know? You're still uh, pushing. As time goes, yeah, everything is gonna be all right. I feel you, I feel you. Okay, uh, musically, do you have any, uh, you know, you would love to work with people who are more talented than you or who are on another level? Which people are you looking at musically that you'd love to collaborate with and give us some mad sound? Oh, um, I have a lot on my list, like, you know, mm. a lot. Yeah. A lot of artists. I like to work with them, uh, you know. Music, music is a very big word, you know, so I, I, I don't know, you know, I mean, a lot. I have a lot of people on my list right now. Yeah. And even if I want to mention, I'm not going to finish right now. I feel you. I've got a lot of people I want to work with, like... I feel you. You know, something big. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the project you are premiering right now, Mood. Uh, who is the producer, and do you write your own music sometimes, or you hire special songwriters? I write my music, everything you see in that mm. project, everything you see in my project is me. Um, uh, the writing, everything is me. And I just, I only go to the studio to record, like, you know, when I get everything intact, then I'll go to the studio and I'll just go and, you know, record. And the person who produced the song is called Dope Nation. I don't know if you know them. Um, one of them called B2. I don't know if you've heard about them. They are also an artist, you know, yeah. very good one, of course. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, their How... new song is even out at the Boza. For my brothers that are watching you back here in Uganda, they would love to know, how is the music, uh, you know, competition in Ghana? How would you rate it? Oh, uh, so far, so good. It's going well, like, you know. I wouldn't say it's easy, but we, we, we are getting there, like, small, small. <laughs> you no, know, it doesn't. It, yeah, you know, if you small, small. It, it will just not come boom. Like it will take time. Like, yeah, one after the other. I see a lot of Nigerian yeah. artists coming through that side. They've they've turned Ghana into their second home. What does it mean for the Ghanaian artists? Have you guys, you know, uh, how can I call it? Have you guys positioned yourself uh, for for collabs, or you just take pics with these artists and that's it? Okay, um, you know. Okay, let me let me say fine. If you um if you get in touch with an artist, probably you like to do something with. I think it's a vibe. It's gonna happen. Yeah. But if people get a chance to do the collab with them are doing it. Not just a picture, but you know when you, when you get a chance, mm. you want to do business with artists, and artist is okay, and artists want to jump on your song. Like you know that's a vibe. So you just scale it. So when you come across an artist. Maybe yeah. like Banner Boy, Whiskey, the video, and you know, you yeah. guys have a vibe. Mm. You know, you working is an easy thing for you. So I don't think it's only going to be based on picture or something like that, you know. So I feel you. that's my vibe. Is DK Reno signed to a record label or you use your own money to support your career? Okay, Ryan, I'm not under a record label. No, I'm, everything is coming from my end, but 
I'm working on one or two people like who's trying to come on board, but not as a record label. They try and they support, uh, and also I get my support from sometimes friends, you know, and sometimes do everything on my own. So the little money I get, you know, I have to push it somewhere to support my career. That's it. We've been playing your video mood, and of course, when you analyze the video, it's so many people. How did you manage to pull up all those people on set for a shoot? Oh, so, you know, everything was done by my video director, Colex Bills. Mm. You know, so How much are we looking at I, in terms of budget? I, I want to shoot a video. For motivational no, purposes, I, for our artists to be inspired, you know, to invest in their craft. How much did you spend on this particular video? Roughly, in okay. dollars, please. Yeah. Um, in dollars, it's going to be around, uh, let me say, uh, right now, the, the current situation right now is going to be around $4,000. $4,000? Yes. One video? Yes, for one video. Respect Everything. on yourself. Respect on yourself, brother. It's not, it's not an easy thing, man. It's not, we, are, we are trying. It's not easy, but I love the fact that you're investing. You know, investment don't lie, eh? If you invest right, you got you you have to reap right. All right, look into the camera. Let's put me at the video mode, and of course, your final shout outs. How would you uh, would you love to work with any Ugandan artist, and what does it take to work with you on a collaboration? Um. So right now, yeah. When when I get an artist who is willing to work with me, why not? I'm I'm cool, and you know they just have to reach out. Um. Um. Al Jazeera. That, you know we just get things doing that's it i'm very cool like we can do more things that's that's it so if someone want to do a project with me i'm, I'm hoping you know they can just hit the Jazeera or they can you know hit my page and we'll do a link up over there give us your social media handles like how can people follow you on instagram are you even on tiktok yeah i'm on tiktok but i'm not active on tiktok like that um you know, I come on TikTok once in a while. Yeah. I'm no good at TikTok, but I'm mostly active on Twitter and Instagram right now and Facebook. That's what I'm very active at. So, and, you know, my, my name on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram is dedicated. You know, the same name I use on my, you know, my music videos everywhere. That's the name. So, if they are looking for me, they, just, they can just go to Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, and just type my name, DK Vino, and I'm going to pop up. And all right, all right, all right, all right. Big shout outs to you. Thank you for sparing your lovely time and, of course, catching up with us and having a musical conversation. We look forward uh, to sharing love and positivity. We can't wait to come to Ghana. I want to come to Ghana. We have interviews with every artist in Ghana, man. Tell Al Jazeera uh, I'm ready. Premiere the video, bro. Let's get it. Mood, brand new DK Reno, out of Ghana, representing on Afro Vibes, DJ Lennox on the doubles. Let's get it.